The Quick Access Toolbar is hands down one of my favorite features in Microsoft Word and really in all of the Microsoft Office productivity applications except for Microsoft Outlook and OneNote. Most people don't even realize it's there, mostly because by default it doesn't have a whole lot on it. But customizing the QAT allows you to keep your most frequently used commands within one click reach all the time, even when the ribbon is hidden. The Quick Access Toolbar by default is located above the ribbon near the upper left hand corner, although as I'll show you in a moment, you can move it below the ribbon if that works better for you. As of the time of this recording, the Quick Access Toolbar isn't available within the browser based version of Office 365. It's only available right now in the versions of Office that are installed onto your local computer, i.e. the desktop versions. There are a couple of different ways you can modify the Quick Access Toolbar within Microsoft Office. First, there's a drop-down arrow at the right-hand edge of the Quick Access Toolbar. When you click that drop-down, you're presented with a list of commands you can add to the QAT by clicking on them to put a check mark next to them. If you want to remove any of the default commands on the QAT, you can remove them the same way. Just click on them to remove the check mark. But that's a fairly limited list and you may want to add something that's not listed in that default list. Just click More Commands near the bottom and you'll be taken into the Quick Access Toolbar area of the Options dialog box. If you look on the right hand side here, you'll notice all the commands I have listed on my QAT and there are probably some on mine you don't have on yours. You probably just have New File, Open, Auto Save, Save, Undo, Redo, maybe Quick Print, and Close File. That's okay because I'm going to show you how to add your own favorite commands and how to rearrange them in an order that makes sense to you. For example, I frequently convert Word documents into PDF documents. While I could absolutely go to File, Export, Create a PDF or XPS document, I don't really want to have to do that every single time I create a PDF from a Word document. Instead, I've set up my Quick Access Toolbar to get one-click access to that command. Here's how I added that command to my Quick Access Toolbar. First, because that's not listed under Popular Commands in the Choose Commands From list, I changed that drop-down to All Commands. That way I can see every single word command in alphabetical order, which makes it easy for me to find Publish as PDF. You'll notice that you can also filter the commands by what ribbon tab they appear on, in case you know where a particular command is found. For instance, if you wanted to add the Clear Formatting button to the QAT, you could filter this list to show just the commands found on the Home tab. Then I can select the Publish as PDF or XPS command on the left and click the Add button in the middle to copy it over to my Quick Access Toolbar. That's all it takes to add it. But I may not want it sitting after my Close File command, so I can use the up and down arrows over on the right to move that command up or down to rearrange the order of the commands on the Quick Access Toolbar. I've gone through that same process to add the commands Print, Preview, and Print and Insert a Field because I use those commands a lot in my work. Once you've finished adding commands and arranging them in the right order, click OK to finish. Voila! You've got your own customized Quick Access Toolbar. Oh, and here's a third way you can add a command to the Quick Access Toolbar. If you find a command on the ribbon you'd like to have easier access to, right-click on it and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. It's always going to appear on the end, but you can always go back into the Quick Access Toolbar area of the Options dialog box and reposition it with the arrows. By the way, if you prefer to have your Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon and not above it, you can move it by clicking the drop-down on the right and choosing Show Below the Ribbon. Or, if you're still in the Options dialog box, checking the box next to Show Quick Access Toolbar Below the Ribbon. Like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite word customizations, and I know you'll find it really useful too. 